Hello everyone. You're watching the Bejeweled. Welcome to my channel, where I provide some of my favorite top 10 videos. Let's dive into the wonders of jewelry collection, their story, history, rarity, and providence. On today's video, we're going to talk about the famous and historical Conda diamonds. And yes, I will show you some of the famous diamonds in the world that belongs or was taken from the mines of Golconda. But first, let's find out where is Golconda, the land of diamonds. The Golconda diamonds are Indian diamonds mined in a specific geographic area in the present-day Telangana and Andhra Pradesh states of South India. During the rule of the historic Kut Shahi dynasty, 16th century 17th century c, also known as the Golconda Sultanate, diamonds from these mines, especially Kalar mine, were transported to the city of Hyderabad to be cut, polished, evaluated and sold. Golconda in Hyderabad established itself as a diamond trading center, and, until the end of the 19th century, the Golconda market was the primary source of the finest and largest diamonds in the world. Thus, the legendary name Golconda Diamond became synonymous with Golconda itself. One of the most popular diamond mines was Kalar Mine, presently in Gunter District, Andhra Pradesh. There were also other mines around the River Krishna in South India. Along with diamonds, the region also became a trade center for metalware, pearls, spices, and textiles. According to the New Indian Express, 22 October 2016, the Hyderabad-based historian, Muhammad Saifiullah, says such was the trade that the estimated output from all mines in Golconda was estimated to be around 12 million carats. Now, here are some of the most famous diamonds from Golconda. The Jacob Diamond, also known as the Imperial or Victoria Diamond, is a colorless Golconda diamond ranked as the fifth biggest polished diamond in the world. The last Nizam of the Hyderabad state, Mir Osman Ali Khan, found the diamond in the toe of the shoe of his father, Mahbub Ali Khan, at Chomahala Palace, and used it as a paperweight for a long time. It was bought by the government of India for an estimated $13 million in 1995. It is cut in a rectangular cushion cut, with 58 facets, and measures 39.5 mm long, 29.25 mm wide and 22.5 mm deep. The diamond weighs 184.75 carats, 36.90 grams. Currently, it is kept at the Reserve Bank of India vaults in Mumbai. As part of the Nizam's jewelry exhibition in 2001 and 2007, the Jacob Diamond was a major attraction at Sailor Yung Museum, Hyderabad. Before it was sent to Europe to be cut, the uncut diamond is believed to have been over 400 carats, 80 grams, in weight. The diamond was put up for sale in 1891 by Alexander Malcolm Jacob, hence the name. It was offered to Mahbub Ali Khan the sixth Nizam of Hyderabad. Initially, the Nizam was quite uninterested in the diamond and offered a mere 46 lakhs, 4 million, rupees for it. The Nizam was asked to make a good faith deposit if he was to go through with the transaction. The European jewel cutters did not like this offer, but were forced into court when they lost track of the Nizam's deposit. Ultimately, the Nizam was awarded the diamond for almost half of his original offer, 23 lakhs, 2.2 million, rupees. Ninth on the list is the Princey Diamond, which is approximately 34.65 carats cushion cut fancy intense pink diamond. The diamond was discovered about 300 years ago in the Golconda mines. Long before it was known as the Princey or by any other name it belonged to the royal family, Nizams, of Hyderabad, its first known owners. The then Nizam of Hyderabad had it auctioned in 1960 at Sotheby's. It was bought by the London branch of the jewellers Van Cleef and Arpels for 46,000 British pounds. It was then sent to their Paris store where it was named Princey by Pierre Arpels, in honor of the 14-year-old son of Sita Devi, the Maharani of Baroda, Sayadrao Gekwad, 1945-1985. The diamond had not gone to an auction or been seen in public since 1960. The Gemological Institute of America characterizes the Princey diamond as fancy intense pink, natural color, BS2 clarity, type Ia. The Princey Diamond is at this time the largest Golconda-type fancy intense pink diamond ever to be graded at the Gemological Institute of America. The Princey also has the property that when exposed to ultraviolet light, it displays bright orange-red fluorescence. According to the Gemological Institute of America, this kind of reaction to ultraviolet light is typical of diamonds of Indian origin. Of more than 7 million diamonds that have gone through the Gemological Institute of America's laboratory, no more than 40 exhibited this phenomenon, and the Princey is the largest pink diamond that possesses it. 
It was auctioned by Christie's in New York on 16 April 2013 for what was a record-breaking price and was expected to sell for more than $45 million. In the event, it only fetched $39.3 million, which is still a record-breaking price at that time. It sets the record for being the most valuable Golconda mine diamond ever sold at auction and the highest price for any jewel sold at Christie's, surpassing the previous house record of $24.4 million set in December 2008 with the sale of the Wittelsbach diamond. Next on the list is the Florentine diamond, a lost diamond of Indian origin. It is light yellow in color with very slight green overtones. It is cut in the form of an irregular, although very intricate, nine-sided 126-facet double rose cut, with a weight of 137.27 carats, 27.454 grams. The stone is also known as the Tuscan, the Tuscany diamond, the Grand Duke of Tuscany, the Austrian diamond, and the Austrian yellow diamond. Documented history begins when Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, the French jeweler and traveler, saw the stone among the possessions of Ferdinando II de' Medici, Grand Duke of Tuscany in 1657. It then passed into the hands of the Habsburgs when the last of the Medicis died through the marriage of Francis III Stefan of Lorraine to Empress Maria Theresa of Austria and was placed in the Habsburg crown jewels in the Hofburg in Vienna. At the time, it was valued at $750,000. After the fall of the Austrian Empire during World War I, the stone was taken by Charles I of Austria into exile in Switzerland. The stone was stolen sometime after 1918 by a person close to the imperial family and taken to South America with other gems of the crown jewels. After this, it was rumored that the diamond was brought into the United States in the 1920s and was recut and sold. And some believe that it is known now as the famous Tiffany Yellow Diamond. The Dresden Green Diamond, also known as Dresden Green, is a 41 carats, 8.2 grams, natural green diamond, which probably originated in the Collar Mine in the state of Andhra Pradesh in India. The Dresden Green is a rare type 2A, with a clarity of VS1, and it is said to be potentially internally flawless, if slightly recut. It is named after Dresden, the capital of the German state of Saxony, where it has been on display for most of the last two centuries. Today, the diamond is shown in the new green vault at Dresden Castle. The Dresden Green Diamond has a historical record dating back to 1722, when a London news sheet carried an article about it in its 25 October 27th edition. It was acquired by Augustus III of Poland from a Dutch merchant in 1742 at the Leipzig Fair. In 1768, the diamond was incorporated into an extremely valuable hat ornament, surrounded by two large and 411 medium-sized and small diamonds. This is the setting that the Dresden Green still appears today. In 2000, American jewelry firm Harry Winston arranged to display the Dresden Green at the New York flagship store, and then at the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C., United States, where it was displayed in the Harry Winston Pavilion next to the largest blue diamond in the world, the Hope Diamond. Sixth on the list is the Archduke Joseph Diamond, a colorless antique cushion-shaped brilliant, originally weighing 78.54 carats, purchased by Molina Jewelers of Arizona sometime in the late 1990s and slightly recut to 3.45 carat to improve clarity and symmetry. It is, on the Gemological Institute of America, GIA, color and clarity scales, a D-grade, colorless to the highest grade, if, internally flawless, flawless to the second highest grade, diamond, in short. A diff or a diff diamond, and the largest diff ever graded at the GIA, and it is of type 2A, as determined by the Gubelin Gem Lab of Lucerne, Switzerland. Archduke Joseph originated in India's Golconda Mines. It was named after Archduke Joseph August of Austria, its first recorded owner who had it deposited in the vault of the Hungarian General Credit Bank on 1 June 1933, in the presence of a state councillor. This was the first record of the existence of the Archduke Joseph diamond. How it made its way into the ownership of Archduke Joseph August of Austria is not known. In 1936 it was sold to an anonymous buyer who is believed to have been a European banker and kept in France, locked away in a safe deposit box, where it remained undiscovered from the German occupation powers during World War II. It surfaced at auction, but not sold, in 1961 in London, and again at Christie's in Geneva on November 1993. On November 13, 2012, Archduke Joseph, 76.02 carats, was sold for more than 20 million Swiss franc, $21,474,525 including commission, at Christie's auction house by Alfredo J. Molina, chairman of California-based jeweler Black, Star and Frost, to an anonymous bidder. 
The price was $6 million above the $15 million pre-sale estimate, and more than three times the price of $6.5 million it reached when it was last sold in 1993. The price fetched was a world record for a Golconda diamond and a world record price per carat for a colorless diamond at that time. Great Mogul is believed to have been discovered around 1650, most probably around Collar Mine in the Golconda region of southern India. Tavernier described the diamond as, the stone is of the same form, as if one cut an egg through the middle. Around 1665 the Shah's son, Aurangzeb, showed the stone to the famous jeweler and world traveler Jean Baptist Tavernier. At that time Tavernier wrote in his six voyages. The first piece that Akel Khan, chief keeper of the king's jewels, placed in my hands was the great diamond, which is rose-cut, round and very high on one side. On the lower edge, there is a slight crack and a little flaw in it. Its water is fine and weighs 319 a half radis, which makes 280 of our carats, the radi being th of a carat. Later, the Great Mughal Diamond was transferred to Lahore Sabha and became part of the spoils of war when Mughal India was invaded and Lahore and then Delhi, sacked by the Persian ruler Nader Shah. Nader Shah returned with the stone to his home in Isfahan in 1739 from the Nawabs of Punjab. However, Nader Shah's ownership proved shorted lived. He was assassinated in 1747, and the stone disappeared. And in 1774, a diamond described by Jean Baptiste appeared in the Kremlin crown jewel. Catherine the Great of Russia named it Orlov Diamond, it was encrusted into the imperial scepter of Russian Empress. There were no records of the original weight of the Orlov Diamond, but estimation was made by Lord Twining's book A History of the Crown Jewels of Europe, mentions how once, during a circa 1913 inspection of the crown jewels by the curator, the stone accidentally fell out of its scepter. He weighed the stone but did not write down its exact weight. He later said that it was about 190 carats, 38 grams, which corresponds to the measurement-based estimate. Currently, the Orlov diamond displayed as a part of the collection of the Diamond Fund of the Moscow Kremlin. During my studies in the history of these famous diamond, I have concluded that the Orlov diamond and the Great Mole diamond is one. The Darya i Nur, which means Sea of Light in Persian, is one of the largest cut diamonds in the world, weighing an estimated 182 carats, 36 grams. Its color, pale pink, is one of the rarest to be found in diamonds. The Daria i Nur is in the Iranian crown jewels of Central Bank of Iran in Tehran. This diamond, like the Koh i Nur, was mined in Vijayanagara, India. It was originally owned by the Kakatiya dynasty, later it was looted by the Kalji dynasty and to Mole emperors. In 1739, Nader Shah of Iran invaded northern India, occupied Delhi. As payment for returning the crown of India to the Mole emperor, Muhammad, he took possession of the entire fabled treasury of the Moles, including the Darya i Nur, in addition to the Koh i Nur and the Peacock Throne. After Nader Shah's death in 1747, the diamond was inherited by his grandson, Sherik Mirza. From there, it fell into the hands of the Lotfal Ali Khan. After Lotfal Ali Khan's defeat at the hands of Muhammad Khan Qajar, who established the ruling Qajar dynasty of Iran, the Darya i Nur entered the Qajar treasury. During this time, Nasser al-Din Shah Qajar was said to be very fond of the diamond, often wearing it as an armband, a gret, or a brooch and maintenance of the diamond was an honor bestowed upon higher-ranking individuals. The diamond currently resides with the national jewels of Iran. The original Wittelsbach diamond, also known as Der Bloy Wittelsbacher, was a 35.56 carat, 7.112 grams, fancy, deep, a grayish-blue diamond with VS2 clarity that had been part of both the Austrian and the Bavarian crown jewels. Its color and clarity had been compared to the Hope diamond. The diamond originates from the collar mines of Gunter district in Andhra Pradesh, India. The story that King Philip IV of Spain purchased a jewel and included it in the dowry of his teenage daughter, Margaret Teresa, in 1664, is apocryphal. The first time the diamond was mentioned is about 50 years later when it was already in Vienna. It was in the possession of the Habsburg family and came to Munich when in 1722, Maria Amelia married Charles of Bavaria, a member of the Wittelsbach family. In 1745, the Wittelsbach diamond was first mounted on the Bavarian elector's order of the Golden Fleece. When Maximilian IV Joseph von Wittelsbach became the first king of Bavaria in 1806, he commissioned a royal crown that prominently displayed the diamond. Until 1918, the jewel remained on top of the Bavarian crown. It was seen last in public at Ludwig III of Bavaria's funeral in 1921. 
On 10 December 2008, the 35.56 carat Wittelsbach diamond was sold to London-based jeweler Lawrence Graff for $23.4 million, at the time the highest price ever paid at auction for a diamond. In June 2011, Graff apparently sold the diamond to the former Emir of Qatar, Hamad bin Khalifa, for at least $80 million. Second on the list is the Regent Diamond, a 141.64 carat diamond owned by the French state tan on display in the Louvre, worth as of 2015 48 million pounds. It is widely considered the most beautiful and purest diamond in the world. According to one rumor, in 1698, a slave found the 410 carats uncut diamond in the collar mine, in the Gunter district of Andhra Pradesh, India, and hid it inside a large wound in his leg. An English sea captain stole the diamond from the slave, killed him and sold it to an Indian merchant. Sir Thomas Pitt, the governor of Fort St. George, claimed he acquired the diamond from the eminent Indian diamond merchant Jamchand for 48,000 pagodas. The pagoda was a unit of currency, a coin made of gold or half gold, minted by Indian dynasties, as well as the British, the French and the Dutch. He dispatched the stone to London hidden in the heel of his son Robert's shoe aboard the East Indiaman Loyal Cook, which left Madras on 9 October 1702. It was later cut in London by the diamond cutter Harris, between 1704 and 1706. The cutting took two years and cost about £5,000. After many attempts to sell it to various members of European royalty, including Louis XIV of France, it was purchased by the French regent, Philippe II, Duke of Orleans. The stone was set into the crown of Louis XV for his coronation in 1722, and then into a new crown for the coronation of Louis XVI in 1775. It was also used to adorn a hat belonging to Marie Antoinette. In 1792, during the revolutionary furor in Paris, Le Regent, or the Regent Diamond, was stolen along with other crown jewels of France, but was later recovered. In 1801 the gem was being permanently redeemed by Napoleon Bonaparte and used it for the pommel of his sword. Napoleon's second wife, Archduchess Maria Louise of Austria, carried the Regent back to Austria upon his exile. Later her father returned it to the French crown jewels. The diamond was mounted successively on the crowns of Louis XVIII, Charles X, and Napoleon III. Today, mounted in a Greek diadem designed for Empress Eugenie, it remains in the French royal treasury at the Louvre. It has been on display there since 1887. First on the list are the two famous diamond in the world, the Hope Diamond with ownership records dating back almost four centuries. Its much admired rare blue color is due to trace amounts of boron atoms. Weighing 45.52 carats, its exceptional size has revealed new findings of the formation of gemstones, and the Koh i Noor is one of the largest cut diamonds in the world, weighing 105.6 carats, 21.12 grams. Currently, it is part of the British Crown Jewels and is disputed by the Indian government for its return. I will not go into further details of the history of these two diamonds, since I already detailed them in my previous videos. They both amazing and priceless diamonds, and they set a standard for what diamond quality should be. It was a pleasure sharing the stories of these amazing diamonds, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.